Okay, so yeah, it's true. Yes, I'm a surf fanatic. I love the beach. But I know that there's more to the beach than just a killer set of waves. Yeah, the, the ocean's uh, it's a living organism. And when it changes, life on Earth changes. And no one knows more about that than this guy right here. What's going on, bro? Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How's it going? Good. This is Dr. Josh Willis, an oceanographer at NASA. Wait, wait. Oceanographer at NASA. Yeah, I didn't know that NASA studies the oceans. Yeah, that's right. Uh, NASA, of course, studies everything in the solar system, and it flies some really important satellites. Uh -huh. And satellites are one of the best ways to look at the ocean. Really? It's really only from space that you can see the whole ocean all at once. So we have lots of really important satellites, like uh, Jason, Jason 2, uh, that actually measure the height of the ocean from 800 miles in space. And they can measure it with the accuracy of about an inch, that's about the size of a quarter from 800 miles in space. So obviously this is one watery planet. But remember, 70% of the Earth is covered with ocean. Okay. And it turns out that as the planet heats up, as we trap extra heat here on the Earth, 80 to 90% of it winds up going in the ocean. Now that heats up the water, and when the water heats up, it expands. It actually gets taller. So adding heat to the ocean makes the sea level rise because the ocean just takes up more room. So for instance, uh, coral reefs, um, many coral reefs live in a very narrow range of temperatures, and if it goes outside that, the reef can die. And of course, if the reef dies, lots and lots of fisheries, lots and lots of uh, other animals and marine life right. dies along with it. So NASA sent a satellite to study the oceans. I mean, what, what's it exactly doing? Well, I tell you, what you really need to do is go see my friend Bill at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Bill Patzer, he knows all about this stuff, and uh, quite honestly, I gotta work on my tan, man. <laughs> Look at the time, I gotta get out of here. I put this guy in the show and let's see what I get. Paisan, I'll talk to you soon, all right? Be good. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, right on. <laughs> hey, um, Dr. Patzer? Hey, uh, Josh sent me? Hey, hey, Johnny. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> right on, dude. Listen, I heard you're a surfer. Well, you know, I'm an old surfer, you know, not a young surfer like you. Oh, but it's cool, but listen, as a surfer, you know, I'm, I'm like one of your most humble students of the oceans today, all right? Can you tell me what OSTM Jason 2 is telling us about the oceans? Well, this is a great series of missions that's been flying for almost 15 years now, uh -huh. and we're mapping the heat and the height of the ocean. And this is very powerful information, Johnny. So what's the Pacific Ocean telling us? There is a very large signal out there, Johnny, yeah. is as CO2 has increased over the past century, the response in the Pacific has been dramatic. Hmm. Sea level has risen almost eight inches in the last hundred years. And so really, it's the unequivocal proof of global warming. Right. And so the question really, for civilizations all across the planet is, what impact will this have on normal climate and weather systems? Because we're definitely living in a warmer world of higher sea levels, and it's more than just beaches disappearing. It's gonna be a fundamental shift in climate systems and will have a powerful impact on civilizations, not only in the United States, but everywhere on the planet.